So hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the luggage options I chose for my Honda Africa Twin, the 2021 model. So I'm going to work from front to back. So first of all I'm going to start with the tank bag. And that is the Giant Loop Diablo, the black one, tank bag. Um, why did I go for this one? Because it is waterproof. It is, um, yeah, it's a little uh, harder on the outside so things don't get compressed all the time. The things I carry with me most of the time is two pairs of gloves right over there and some inner gloves right over there. Then layer uh, some painkillers over there as you can see. My disc lock, my USB cable which is routed via this port over there. You can route it in and then route it, route it right in here as you can see or just leave it like this which is what I do most of the times. So another nice thing for the tank bag is the option to when you're filling up you can zip it like this put it like that then you have access to the fuel cap and when you're done you just flip it back zip it up and leave it like that and when you want to leave of course you can just unzip it fully and then take it with you so yeah I'm pretty happy with the tank bag the only thing to mention with the tank bag on the Africa Twin especially the 2020 and the newer models so from 2020 up is that if you have a tank bag check that it fits this one is 20 uh, 21 centimeters in width and that means that if you as you can see the media button is almost hitting but not yet that's good but with uh, 20 centimeters you can really keep it in the center of the tank and not tilt a little to the, uh, to the right. This one is a little tilted to the right at this moment but that's because otherwise sometimes it presses against that button. And <laughs> when doing a full lock and changing a number that I'm listening to music that's not really my thing. So that's just one thing to keep in mind for the Africa Twin get a tank bag that is about 20 centimeters in width not much wider this one is 21 also doable because as you can see over here no buttons are pressed but just keep that in mind for a tank bag so that's it and then we go to the panniers so for the panniers I went with the uh, Moscow Moto, the backcountry 35 liters with the auxiliary pouches. Why did I go for the uh, for the Moscow Moto bags? Well, that's easy. I'll show you that right here, literally in a few seconds, because this is really the greatest system you can have when commuting. Just press that in, and it's locked. When I go for a ride, I just do that, and when I get at my destination, I just pull this lever. It's still a little heavy to do that because it's still new. <laughs> it's really tight. Just wiggle it a little, little, and then it comes loose, and then I have to wiggle it a little, little, and then the back comes loose. So yeah, that's really one of the greatest systems that are made for panniers especially soft panniers and you just clip it on back on press this and it's back on so what can I carry in this well it's open because I'm at home but I can carry my laptop in here a few other tools for work uh, a cap that's what I carry in here and there's still, as you can see, plenty of room left when needed. And on the auxiliary pouches I carry, um, these are my, yeah, these are my rain liners for my pants and my jacket, motorcycle pants and jacket. And over here I carry an extra pair of shoes 
because when I ride I wear my motorcycle boots but when I get at work I just uh, well take them off of course and then change them for my just my sneakers so yeah that's why I can carry in here there's still lots of room left in the bags so I have two of those of course on the other side I have the other one that's in the house because most of the time I only use one and yeah I can take everything in here even like at the office it's sometimes a little cold and then I can take an extra sweater or something like that without having any issues with space so that's really great so when you're done let's let's close everything up a little there we go then roll it up like that take that clip clip that on some people call this difficult i call it secure because i don't want my stuff to go anywhere while riding some people may like that i don't and then when that's done you take this last strap that's done and now i can go for a ride so yeah to round it up for the tank bag i went with the giant loop diablo tank bag and for the soft panniers i went with the backcountry 35 liters with uh, in total four of the auxiliary pockets so that's it for this video i want to thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you have any suggestions please leave them also in the comments and if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and if you like this video and want to see more um yeah just subscribe to my channel and i will provide you with more content in the future so again i want to thank you for watching and i'll see you next time